Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me today about a question about heaven. Today I'm answering to Dilla, D-I-L-A. I hope I've pronounced your, right, your name right. Okay, this person asks, can we reincarnate as animals and do animals have life lessons? Do they go straight back to heaven when they die? So I'm going to read out the reply that I sent as an email because this gives us some hint as to what really does occur, right? So I replied and I said, Hi Dilla, I hope that you allow me to do a question about heaven with this exact email you have just given to me. There I am. Please let me know if you wish your name and location. So she's given me, they've given me their name. I hope it's a female, I don't know. I'm only assuming. So the answer goes like this. Imagine a blade of grass. It has a consciousness and an awareness based on the fact that science saying that when a blade of grass is cut, it sends out an energetic pheromone that allows other grass and plants to know that it's dying. This is why grass smells when it's mowed. This is also why flowers always bloom after the grass is mowed because the flowers are regenerating its life of that plant because they are fearful of for their own survival because they're receiving that pheromone that the grass has been cut and may die. So therefore, it's proven that plants has this consciousness awareness. So therefore, all things have it as well. All, and I mean all, energy goes back to the source, which some would call heaven or home, when it passes over. So when I went up to heaven, I saw a lot of grass, I saw a lot of trees, and I also saw a lot of animals there. So I firmly believe that anything that has a consciousness goes to heaven. Animals, they have the same choices that we do. Some go straight back to heaven as a spirit, and some stay as ghosts on this planet. I've seen a lot of videos of ghost animals, I've also got a dog in my house where a lot of people have seen the dog in my house. How cute is that? So ghosts can be animals as well. Wow. So um, can a human reincarnate as a plant? Absolutely. We can take on any form in which to learn our life lessons. How do we learn how to love someone unconditionally unless we have a cat come into our life like I have Mary who has taught me how to unconditionally love her and then we look at the life lesson of Mary my cat and we look at the struggles that she has because she was feral when she was um, earlier in her life so we look at her survival mechanisms her techniques how she had to learn to trust she had to learn to protect herself. And most of all, she had to learn to love others in a very feral environment where everything was deemed as a threat. So, of course, she had life lessons to learn. I have life lessons to learn based on who she is as well. So we've always got to remember that flip side, guys. It's not just the animal that has to learn a life lesson. It could also be the life lesson that they teach to us. And what about the life lessons that we teach to them? I hope that explains that. So how do we learn? This is straight back to my email. So how do we learn what it's like to be trodden on unless we are grass that has to learn how to appreciate all things that walk on them? Wow, that's a good perspective. How do we learn how it feels to have the world coming down on our shoulders unless we're an ant and we get splattered by the boot of someone unknowingly walking past and they didn't see us on the ground? Wow, isn't that a big one? Huh? So there are thousands of those how do we learn examples. So I can put forward regarding plants and animals any as long as you lo as many as you want. But I think it's up to you today to come to your own conclusions, right? So 
So animals do come as back as ghosts. They also go to heaven because I saw a lot of animals in heaven. I've also seen a lot of animal ghosts. So we do get that through our own free will. Okay. So do they go straight back to heaven? Ultimately, all things do go back to heaven. Okay. And that's just something that we have to learn to trust and to hope that we are part of that magic that is created when our own consciousness transmute into that energetic being of who we are in heaven. So I hope that this has helped you all today. Thank you so much for viewing. And if you do have a question about heaven or ghosts or anything in particular about paranormal, you're welcome to email it to me and my link is below in the description. Thank you so much. Please share my stories if you think other people need to hear those as well. Talk to you all soon. Bye.